states uh, that we have to react learning we have challenge and we are going to learn today giving a component multiple state how to give multiple state variables so in previously we saw how to use state and why to use state in your component in that we created a use state for index and set index now while here they are mentioning if you haven't watched the video i would highly recommend to do so so this will make this video will make more sense to you this video has two state variable a uh, number index and a boolean so in previous we had only one state which was index and set index now we have two state which is show more and set more okay and here we have updated the value initially as false it's good idea to have multiple state variable if their state is unrelated so if you have certain variables which depends on different user actions you can add as many as state variables as you want based on that user actions but if a same user action is updating two variables it really makes more sense to create a state which handles both the variables instead of creating two sets separate state that's what they're trying to say here but if you find that you often change two state variable together it might be better to combine them into a single state one for example if you have a form with many fields it's more convenient to have a single state variable that holds an object than a state variable per field thus we will going to see in choosing our state structure which is a part i mean a part in the series let's deep dive how does react know which states to return so basically here we have two states right index and show more new state is a function we are calling it function and how the function will know that we are referring to index state or we are referring to show more so let's see how react does that you might have noticed that new states call does not receive any information about which states variable refer refers to so here we don't know which u state we are calling like u state does not know what value uh, we are sending here or assigning its uh, return variable to there is no identifier that is passed to new state so how does it know which of the following variables to return instead to enable their concise syntax hooks rely on a stable call order on every render of same component this works well in practice because you follow the rule above so if you remember above you must remember that whenever you declare a state it should be always just after declaration of your component function okay so basically what react does based on that it will consider oh the first use state call will be you know used for the index where a second use state call will be used for the show mode that's how it's you know creating a format um, when and where to which use state you know is referring to what variable internally react holds an array of state pairs for every component and it also maintain the current pair index it's set to zero before rendering so what happened here is like basically we have it new state will create an array and the first element will be index so if new state or uh, what new state is called initially they will know oh this is for index variable the first and the second element will be show more then they will know oh this is for show more okay uh, this example doesn't use react but this gives you an idea how use state works internally okay so it has a component hooks with, which will have the list of all the hooks we are being used and this is the current index so basically what happens a uh, current index uh, of hook index is zero at zero value this will be the you know at zero value this is the initial value or pair it will check if it is then it will update the value same thing happens like initial state they will send this and set state will you know be a set of function you don't have to understand to use react but you might find this helpful as a mental model so there is no need like you won't implement in these kinds of logic but you should know why and how react knows which new state is used for what okay let's say uh, let's see the next part state is isolated and private states are local to a component instance on the screen in other word if you render the same component twice each copy will have completely isolated state okay changing one of them will not affect the another so 
in our previous videos in the starting uh, describing UI we did look at that like suppose if you're calling one component multiple times each call will have their own perfect states and independent of other calls in this example like gallery component from earlier it's rendered twice with no change in the logic so it's calling it's call at line 6 as well as line 7 and if you scroll down and if I click on this the value is changed for the first one not changing for the other this is what makes state different from regular variable that you might declare at the top of your model state is not tied to a particular function call or a place in the code but it's local it's local to a specific place on the screen you render two gallery components so their state is stored separately also notice how the page component doesn't know anything about the gallery state or even whether there is any so this one is not aware of this one and this one is not aware of this one although both are the same component but they have totally different state so like they are like a twins but separated and is independent unlike props state is fully private to component declaring okay Whatever state you will declare in a component, you cannot share it or your twin or sibling cannot share it. Not even your parent can have access to it. It is like your personal phone or diary which none of your family member has an access to it. This lets you to add state to any component, remove it without impacting the rest of the component. What if you wanted both galleries to keep their state in sync? So there may be a condition where you want to keep both of the components, you know, have same values. Then you need to move your state from child to parent and in parent, then you have to share them with both of the child. So next few pages, we will focus on organizing state as a single component, but we will return this topic sharing between. So again, we will go and look into this sharing state between the component is also a part of this series. So let's see a recap. Uh, use a state variable when a component needs to remember some information between render. So why we use state? We use state to remember our current value between the renders. Uh, states are declared using use state. Uh, hooks are the special functions start with use and they let you hook into React features. Um, hooks might remind you of imports. They need to be called unconventionally. So it has to be called in the starting, you cannot call it inside a function, you cannot call it inside a if and else condition or a for loop. Valid at the top level, use state returns a pair of values, so it returns two values, one is the current state and the second is the function to update it. You have more than one state variable internally, React matches them by their order. Okay, state is to private uh, is private to component. If you render it in two places, each copy gets its own state. Awesome. Complete the gallery. Uh, let's try out some challenges. Uh, I'm gonna add this one in the comp uh, in our notes. So let me remove. Okay, okay, okay. Here it is. And let's try out some challenges. Complete the gallery. When you press next on the last sculpture, the code crashes. Fix the logic to prevent the crash. You may do this by adding extra logic to event handler or by disabling the button. When the action is not possible, after fixing the crash, add a previous button to show the previous sculpture. It shouldn't crash on the first sculpture. So what we will going to do, we will create our next logic. And whenever the uh, whenever uh, your image is over, so it should not able to move next. So the button should be disabled, and then we will add a previous button as well, so that you can go back. Let's get started. So this is my code here. I'm gonna, you know, here. Close the file. This is okay. It's not moving forward. Let's see what they have done. They have added index 2000. Don't know why. So here is the. Okay, so here is the button click on click. I is the handle name. Sculpture artist. What is sculpture? 
Spear sculpture is where they are adding sculpture. Okay, sculpture is the indexed value. And here the sculpt when you are adding 1000 it's showing undefined and you're adding certain values you have adding index show and hide they have added show more sculpture description is there so first thing first instead of setting index to index plus 1000 I'm gonna set to index plus one and I'm gonna you know run this so this is working so it is moving forward if I click on this, 6, 7, 12, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, after 12, it should not move forward. So, what we can do here, uh, we have to, I'm going to refresh this. And what I want to do after this 12 one, like here, if we go at this, yes, this is the one this is the next if we click uh, up once it reached to the highest or the last image this should become disabled okay let's do that where is our next button this is the button so there is a property called disabled here disabled okay what should be the value if index equal equal to the last element which is what a uh, sculpture list right to sculpture list dot length minus one if that is the case then return true sorry uh, yeah that should be it should be disabled return true all should be false okay let's try this Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can see here at the twelve it's become disabled. Okay. Now the second part they have mentioned here is that after fixing the trash, add a previous button to show that the previous sculpture. So, okay. So let's go here and create a previous button. Okay. So I will add here. Before next, I'm going to add a button tag here. Controls button. Okay. And I'm going to do on click. Okay. And I'm going to create an uh, event handler, which will be named as handle previous click. Okay, and this will be previous. Okay, what's wrong? Yeah, I need to add to create this function. I'm gonna copy this function in here. I'm gonna create it here. Function, the name of the function. Okay, and when this is clear, uh. Okay, I'm gonna put my set index as index minus one. That's all this will do. And I will disable it also. Disabled it should be disabled when your index is equal equal to zero. Then it should be true or it should be So let's see this this is my first image my previous is disabled i click on next my previous is enabled if i click on this again i will be on my first image click 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 and now my next is disabled and again i can go back here so this is how you can create a navigation awesome we are done with the first challenge i'm gonna leave this here Let's go to our next challenge. When you type your input field, nothing appears. It's like input value are stuck between empty strings. The value of the first input is set to always match the first name variable. And the value of the second 
input is set to match last name variable this is correct both input on change have one handler which try to update the base and the latest user input even the target however the variable doesn't seem to remember now they don't seem to remember the value that's mean what probably they are not using states to actually you know update the value so let's fix this as well i don't know how many people's life i'm gonna fix awesome so basically they are trying to say if i say john here i'm trying to type anything in my event sorry in my input nothing is being typed here so we're gonna change that so let's see the code so first and foremost problem they are using is they are using local variables so definitely we're not going to to get updated here or shown in the ui even though this value is being updated whenever we click on this okay so first thing first let's create our state to create our state we're going to import it so use state here from react awesome Let's create a state here. So I'm going to create constant here. I'm going to remove my this local state here, first name. I'm going to create my first name here. I'm going to set first name function. Set a function. I'm going to use new state here. Make it an empty string. Okay. Now, what I would recommend, pause the video, okay, and try to do for the last name. Try to write your new state for the last name. Once you do that, that would be awesome. So, now we will update the state name. So, here on click of this handle, first change, first name change, we will be setting the value, basically. So, I'm going to remove this line as well. I'm going to write set first name and it should be even dot target dot value okay so now for again the handle reset if you click on this um let's check whether this works or not before let's write john yes john is working if i click reset this is not working because we cannot reset the value of a state variable directly Again, I'm in going to use a set function, set first name here, oops, the phrases here, okay, so we can see John, and I'm going to just uncomment this one last name right now, so if I reset it, the name is being resetted. Same thing you can do for the last name as well. Try it by yourself, whether you are. If you are, congratulations. If you don't, you can just read back, come back and see again how it is done here. Last name, set last name. Oops. Gonna use state here. Okay. Gonna change this here. Set last name as. Oops. So what we are getting we are getting e right. So e dot target dot value. And here I'm gonna remove this uncommon part. I'm gonna just write set last name as this, and this should work. So right. John Smith. Okay, it is working. Both last name and first name is updating. If I click reset, it, it's gone. So we are done with the challenge two as well. Let's go back to our next challenge. Okay, so next challenge is fix a crash. Here's a small form that is supposed to let the user leave some feedback. When the user feedback is submitted, it's supposed to display a thank you message. However, it crashes when a, with an error message saying, render fewer hooks than expected. Can you spot the mistakes and fix it? Of course, we can fix it. That is what we are here for, isn't it? Awesome. 
cool. So basically they are saying if I write hi here and send a message, the sending message is done and then it is giving me an error. Fewer hooks has been, fewer hooks than expected. This may cause an accidental early return. So let's see what exactly they are doing. Okay, I know what they have done wrong. It's very annoying, but okay. So text area is there on change. They are setting the message with the target value. Okay, this is cool. Uh, okay, and then when we submit a form, they Here, whenever they submit the form, they are alerting this. So whenever I click submit, I'm seeing my message and sent is true. Okay. So where is this whole problem is getting problem? Okay. This is the problem. Okay. Else return here. Constant sent messages are inside the else statement. Okay. Not cool. We know hooks needs to be declared at the top. So I'm going to remove this. Put it here. Okay. And I'm going to put my set message as, sorry, something went wrong. Sorry, something went wrong. Okay, and definitely I need to close this else statement as well. Twenty eight return return return. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I understood people what is what's the issue here. It's not here actually, it should be here. So, basically, what they are saying if this is true, then return thank you, otherwise, return the form. Let's try this. I'm gonna refresh this so that we can see. Extend it. Hi, I am curious. send it hi I can see the message okay thank you it works so this is our challenge three let's go for the challenge four remove one necessary unnecessary state when the button is clicked this example should ask for a user to name and then display the alert of greeting them you tried to use state to keep the name but for some reason it's showing us the hello to fix this code remove unnecessary straight variable discuss this why didn't work If you click on greet, you write your name. I'm gonna write as my name. Curious Aria. Oops. Click OK. Oh, it's not showing my name here. Let's fix this. Let's see what's happening. When you click on the button, handle click. Event is being called. Set prompt. What is your name? Okay. Hello. The name. Okay. 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 So, do you know what is going wrong here? If you know, comment in the chat. So, basically, what happened is that whenever you call this, right, set name, it is re-rendered. And whenever it re-rendered, the name here will be actually the, before, you know, so what basically happens is, It's re-rendering here and we are not able to see the right name. So let's see how this can be fixed. So basically what they are doing, the problem here is like set name is re-rendering the code before you can alert it. That's why whenever the alert is running, it doesn't have the original state. Now the thing is here, you don't need to save this state, do you? 
so why can't why don't we just use a normal variable here so that is the thing you should not obviously use you know state unless and until you have to store them so i'm going to use name here okay now if i run this okay wait let me refresh it so i'm going to write here hi i am john okay hi little john okay it's working remove this unnecessary import as well so just because it's a user interacted uh, variable you don't have to use state unless and until there is two condition whenever you have to use state first one is you want to store it for the re-render you want to show it for the next uh, re-render and second the user based interactivity if it is then use if both the condition tr is true then only you should use your state otherwise it's not required thanks for joining uh, let's see if there we have another so now we're good so today we learn about states how to use them where to use them we did some challenges as well um, what I would recommend try to play with this as much as possible it will help you to you know become a better or more become more comfortable with states next we will going to learn about render and commit like what is the difference between them because rendering is what is important whenever there's a user interaction uh mom so yeah hope to see you in the next video as well bye bye take care shabakar namaste